All right, so it looks like Windows 10 uh, beta is available, or the preview, I should say. So I'm gonna actually install it. Hopefully it's better than Windows 8, so fingers crossed. All right, so I guess Windows 10 wants to play tough. I'm gonna try it on, on Netbook. I've looked on the interwebs and no one else has tried this yet. Oh, shit. Okay, I gotta do the BIOS stuff. Of course, right now you can go to uh, Windows, Microsoft, whatever slash preview I'll put a link here and you can go here and check it out and this is where you actually get the place where you can download the ISO files and then burn those or just do the update what's up oh thank you thank you very much this is very kind of you who oh, can I well thank you so much taking care of a few things every way and there you have it it's installed it seems to work fine so go ahead and try this. You got a netbook, an old netbook, whip it out and try Windows 10 on it. I'll get back to you after I've uh, tried it out a little bit, but it's just the first, uh, basically the first minutes of trying it out. So how does it run? It doesn't run that good. Uh, it's pretty slow on this uh, netbook, I must say, which only has, I think, uh, like one or two gigs of RAM. It's one of the original like D250s or whatever. You can tell that by uh, just scrolling around here and trying to change my desktop. It's taking quite a while. Uh, this is not something I would advise on it, but if you just want to play around, go for it. Why not? Uh, this the only the main thing is that your screen resolution is only like 12 1280 by I think 800 or something like that. So a lot of the programs won't actually work in uh, Windows 10 with your netbook. That's one thing to consider. However, there are it does get you the, to the point where you can you know check out the new start menu which looks very beautiful and it's not like the old Windows 8 where you had the old Metro screen and then the Windows 7 looking screen. Everything is built uh, into here. You can go back to the Metro if you want but I would advise against that highly. Uh, here you get your emails and all your information in your uh, right from your start menu, which is awesome. I think that's you know this is creativity on Windows part, and uh, yeah, you can tell right here it's saying this app won't open because my resolution is too low. So that's yet again a fault of the netbook. Um, otherwise, it looks very pretty. You know, it's got good uh, you know transitions, and I don't know what I'm looking for here, but I think I was using um, EasyVid to actually capture some of these because I was capturing these videos from my netbook. Uh, which probably slowed it down even more. Then uh, a couple other things. Uh, the battery life that was good. The battery life actually went up. I would say almost an hour from Windows 8 or Windows 7, in fact. So it's using less power. That's good. That's a good start for something like a netbook or laptop or an ultrabook. Um, then there's also the file management. File management way better in Windows 8 or Windows 10. Uh, it's just so much easier to uh, see what you're actually doing with all your controls and see how fast files are copying and of course just getting used to things and it generally just looks way way better that's my final results is Windows 10 it seems to work way better it looks way better and it works way better uh, hang around because this is not even beta yet this is still like an alpha preview so check it out if you want if you don't want don't check it out thanks for watching guys check you later Bye-bye.